All right, let's talk about why you should start a sticker business. This is a low cost business. You can get 10 stickers for a dollar on Sticker Mule or find any number of small supplier like Sticker Crypt that will give you bulk stickers in low quantities. And if you're really poor, you can just run your business on Tee Public, Redbubble, Printful, Printify, or any other number of print on demand type suppliers where all you need to do is upload the design and they take care of the production. It is low effort and fun. When you're making stickers, you're not making whole masterpieces. You can't make anything super detailed because it's only a three inch design. And so you really get to play with your creativity here. You get to experiment, you get to try new styles, you get to um, play with new concepts, you get to, to rip off of memes and popular news. What's not to love? And a lot of stickers are concept art. And so when you're doing concept art, a lot of times you're running into duplication. And it's not necessarily that you're just like running around stealing ideas from people. It's more that there are only so many concepts, so many jokes you can make. And so with stickers, you really want to make sure you're improving on the concept if someone else has done it. I sometimes call my stickers uh, Frankenstein art because a lot of times I'll pull references from a couple different sources. And so I might pick like the cat pose based on one Google image, but then I'll do an expression based on my own stuff. And maybe I'll do the coloring based on the coloring of my own cats. You don't actually have to be good at art to sell stickers. And again, I'm not talking about you people who jump on Canva and make the same typography designs using templates. Fuck you. Um, I am, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I shouldn't be that aggressive. I am, however, talking about the fact that you don't need to be a great artist to make stickers. Like if I can sell a sticker of a poop emoji that I've illustrated, you can probably make something that will sell. Hell, draw stick figures and it might sell. It's all about marketing and having fun and having a good brand. If you are thinking about doing sticker production in your house, the profit margin is really good and the equipment setup honestly is pretty low. You can get started with a machine cutter like a Cricut for 100 to 150 bucks. You can print at the UPS store or your library, or you can buy your own printer, which is what I ended up doing. And then all you really need is a reliable computer, or maybe even a tablet to make things happen. And you can fit all your stickers in a three ring binder if you really want to. Just get little uh, separators or uh, clear page protectors and shove them all in there, it'll keep them safe. Uh, you, don't, you don't need a lot of room. Maybe a cupboard to store your machine cutter if you're making them by yourself. Mailing stickers is cheap. If you're mailing stickers for more than a dollar, you're probably doing it wrong. You know, a lot of small crafts sellers have all of their profits eaten up by postage because the mail of four ounce uh, poly envelope as a package is at least three dollars, closer to four during the holidays. But with stickers, you can stick them in an envelope. If it's domestic, it costs you 55 cents, and if it's international, it costs you a dollar twenty. You can be really creative. You don't have to do the same shit over and over again with your stickers. You don't need any particular brand, although a brand is nice. Uh, you can just kind of experiment. One of my best sellers is actually the Bernie in Mittens meme. I just did a quick line drawing because I thought it was funny, threw it up on Etsy, and uh, nine months later I'm still selling Bernie with Mittens. You can branch out. The digital art can be reused over and over again. You can make greeting cards, you can make prints, you can make pins, you can make magnets, you can plaster them on coffee cups, you can even put them on t-shirts. And so making the art for stickers is going to translate really well into a lot of other projects and products, especially if you want to expand your small business or work with print-on-demand suppliers. Stickers are really cheap, and I don't mean that to produce, I mean to buy. So <laughs> when you first start out, you can get a lot of mercy purchases from friends and family because they're only giving you five dollars or whatever and they're getting a sticker out of it you know it's it's very low investment whereas if you're trying to start a fine art business and you're trying to sell your prints for 200 bucks you're not going to get a lot of buyers at first it's just it's not going to happen and stickers and other low-cost items like that are a great way to improve your digital art because you will sell while you are a terrible artist all I've got for now. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hear that if you did, you're supposed to uh, hit that thumbs up button, you know, like the video, subscribe, follow, whatever. 
whatever platform I'm on, you know, do the, do the thing and support an artist.